Okay, in this video we're going to do two things very quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to um, slide all the way down to the next page. If you can't get see the next page, you click at the end of this page. Let me center this and click return, 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 return. You'll get to the next page. This is page three. And in this page, what we're going to do is we're going to put a picture in, an image we call it in computing. And so what you'll need to do is go to the internet and find the picture that you want. Hold down the control key and click and it'll say save as and you'll save it to your document folder. I happen to have one picture that I want to put into this page. So let me move it down a little further so you can really get an idea on page three. I'm going to go up here to the insert and insert photo. It doesn't have to be a photo. It could be an image of, you know, a map that's not a photo, a drawing that's not a photo. Anyway, I've already downloaded it from the internet, so instead of photo browser, I'm going to go to picture from file because I've already gotten this picture from the internet and it's a file on my computer. I'm going to click picture from file and I happen to have stored it on my desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop, and lo and behold, it's a picture of Lincoln. So I clicked on Lincoln, I'm going to click insert, and there we are, all ready for my Abraham Lincoln report. Of course, I can maneuver it by moving it in various ways. That's selecting it. I can move it down. If I select it so it has its corners, I can make it wider. I can put it in the center, which it is now. If I make it smaller, I could go up and center it and move it in all kinds of directions. And so that is the way that you insert a picture. I'm going to move it over to the center a little bit. What I did was I made sure my cursor, you can hardly see it, is right here. And then I hit the space bar and put it into the center. You could also do it this way. Go to the left, align, center align, right align, all kinds of different things. Okay, so once I have that, I want to insert a text box to explain it. I'd like to make it a little bit bigger here for a second, so you can all see it very well. So, I'm going to put a text box because it's real hard to write when there's an image on a screen. So I'm going to go insert again, and this time I'm going to go to text box, and... If I click anywhere, I'm going to click it down here, I get a text box. And so now I can write in the text box, and these lines aren't going to show when I'm finished, Abraham Lincoln. And when I finish, if I click off of this to deselect, I have Abraham Lincoln. It doesn't look very good there, but you know how to do this. You can format it any way you want. I'm just going to format it real quick for you so you can see that I'm going to move it over a little bit so you can see that I can easily put a text box in to explain the picture and just to show you that I can do it I'm going to put in another text box and click here and I'm going to put 16th president of the United States and I'm going to then select all of that and I'm going to make it uh, just a little bit bigger not a lot bigger because I want Lincoln to stand out and that's how it would be done so now you've learned how to insert a picture from file and how to insert a text box that's the end of this video